Hello everyone. Episode of the Virtual Investor here. Um, we've got two recent deals here. One of them we closed on this past week. One of them we just got under contract. The Mike is going to run through the numbers here to show you what we're anticipating, what we feel is going to happen. And then when these do in fact sell, we'll of course do the review of those down the road here. All right, Mike, why don't I hand it off to you here? Yeah, sure. So uh, the first deal we have here is in, in Kansas, Hutchinson, Kansas. Uh, we recently won this one at a bank online REO auction. Uh, this is so new of a win. We still don't have funding lined up for it. So uh, right. if you or anyone you know interested, you know, feel free to reach out to us. We're going to run through some numbers here. And then we'll talk about on the next slide some renovations. And then on top of our analysis that we did, and we'll kind of share with you some comps that we looked at to get comfortable with this deal. We also had a local agent look at it uh, and provide information as well. So first off, let's go to you know Zillow. And you know, pictures aren't great here, a little bit blurry. Uh, however, it's in good condition. You can see here the, the cabinets, uh, kitchen, pretty solid looking, flooring, painting, uh, all, all decent. Carpets are actually, from the images that we've seen and heard, are decent condition as well. Yeah. Um, better, better close-ups of the, the kitchen here. Um, newer cabinets, newer kitchen. So not really all too, too dated at all, uh, in my opinion. Mike, this was like uh, sold in 2020 as a rehab property, if I remember it, right. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's kind of like what it looks like now and what we're picking it up for. And, you know, we looked at comps in the area. The one that I hung on the most is uh, this one, uh, just uh, two blocks north, similar size to ours. I think ours is like 13, ours is actually three to 1600. This one's actually a tad bit smaller, about 200 square feet smaller, but similar style. And you can kind of see here, this is a lot more dated than ours. Mm -hmm. um, this kitchen is much older. Um, you know, paint that red looked good in the year 2000. Uh, <laughs> so it probably hasn't been painted in, in two, 20 years. And this ended up selling for talking to the agent um, around the, it went pending at 168. And I think it sold for right around there, if I recall correctly, from the MLS comps uh, where we got the actual value. Kansas is a non-disclosure state. We've gone on other videos in the past, kind of like a cheat code on to try to figure out what stuff sold for in Zillow. Uh, kind of figure out, you know, plus or minus a few thousand on one, where the pending went. Yeah, and Mike, so, just to add on top of that real quick, if people want to go to Redfin and look at a particular market, they can see what things sell from uh, the list price compared to what they actually sold for. If you use that percentage, you're going to be right in the ballpark. Exactly. So knowing that this is a 168 comp and Again, we, I guess the area, I must have hit something. The area is not uh, drawn in. I think we looked at everything from, we're on around here, 11th Street. I yeah. think I just kind of took a draw of essentially here to look at, you know, what are comps in this immediate town area here. And, you know, that was the one property that, that popped up that we just looked at right there. <laughs> and getting comfortable with the values, talking to our local agent, um, agent thought, conservatively 130 was the as of value on this property what made me feel a lot better was that 168 that i just yeah. walked us through right um 168 I, I think we could easily on the low side get 130. so what do the numbers look like so worst case scenario i think this sells for 130 as is especially given that other comp two blocks away and if we're buying it for 93 you know all in five months of holding cost uh, agent commission, we should walk away around 21 and change uh, from a dollar perspective, 21,000 and an ROI of 21. I'm, I'm thinking we can get a little bit more, but uh, this is kind of my conservative as is analysis. Paul, what are your thoughts there? Yeah, no, we've been erring on the side of conservativeness with the market, you know, just kind of we're going into August now tomorrow. So it's a slower time of the year. So just err on the side of caution here and look at our lower numbers in the, in, the, in the lower 20s, but this could surprise into the 30s or 40s, right? This upside could be pretty big on this one. We won't know for sure until we get it listed. And uh, maybe we'll do a little bit of landscaping to clean it up and make it look good and get a yeah. cleaner there and do a heavy duty cleaning, make sure the plumbing is good, the electric's good and all that. But we don't anticipate really having to do any rehab on this property. It should no. sell as is. Yeah. Worst case, you, you added 2000 here to the renovations, you might get a 140 on that. That's a good yeah, ROI. True. You know, adding 2K to a property to get 10 back, I'll do that all day long. All day long. Yeah, it's great return on investment there. Really, these things just need touched up. I mean, these are not even listed on the MLS. A lot of these properties we're getting Correct. here. So nobody else's eyes are on there. If they were to be on the MLS, they're probably going to sell north of 140, like you were talking about, Mike. And 
it's probably going to be the range um, of this one here. But no, it looks like a really good solid deal and the market's decent and you have good sold comps to go off of there. So we had good data on this one. Yeah, absolutely. So let's shift gears to the second property here in, in Indiana, Bedford, Indiana. Mm -hmm. um, so far, this is the one we actually did purchase uh, earlier this week, a few days ago. So you know, we recently won it. Three, four weeks later, we purchased it. So again, this is a bank online REO auction funding. We used one of our private lenders uh, on the deal. Renovations, uh, as of yesterday's uh, video, we're probably gonna have to do a few, uh, such as a new hot water heater. Uh, looks yeah. like we had some issues with that and when the realtor went to visit it. Uh, and again, we emphasize this every call just because it's so darn important. You gotta get local boots on the ground to help verify what you're seeing online. And by working with a great local agent, the reward is, you know, sometimes you get a commission on the buy side with an auction and then they'll always get the listing with us on the sell side as well and future business as well as from us. So let's jump to the property first on Zillow, what it looks like. Again, and again I think this was another one I was rehabbed in a 2019. Yeah, I mean, exterior drive by. Wow, this looks great. I would have never guessed yeah. it's a bank property. I'm definitely rehabbed in the last few years on the exterior and then the interior flooring looks good. Interior scuffs on walls where people's couches were and things like that. At, I'm guessing paint jobs are, are relatively new. Blinds look cheapy, um, so if someone wants to fix that, they can. Or, but overall, it's not too far off from like a move-in ready condition. You can see the carpets yeah. are probably less than five years old. I think this was another one that was rehab, probably like 2020. Um, I think that's when it was. Yeah, also, they, you know, they lost it to a foreclosure essentially. Yep. Because there's a lot of upgrades here that I mean, this makes a walk-in ready. You know, assuming the appliances are here mm -hmm. and probably fixing this. Uh, drawer here you, you, you got a pretty nice functional kitchen yep on if you see that it looks like the drawer front is inside of it here's the basement and uh, i guess this is what uh, might as well bring this up this is a live yep. thing right since we bought it last night we get video from the agent walking it this was uh leaking water let's just say um thankfully it seemed the sump pump was working but at the end of the day it's an unfinished basement so if you're gonna get no a leak hard. like that it, it's best to be in an unfinished uh basement and it was coming out of the drain, so the unit itself was not leaking. So the question is, was the drain left open? Who knows what caused that, but we'll have a plumber come in and take a look at it, see if it needs replaced. See, sometimes if it's electric here, they just need new elements uh, yep. put in, which costs like 30 bucks each element. So you put two in there, you know, it's a $100 yep. repair rather than a $800 or $1,200 new hot water heater. That's right. what we're hoping. We'll see what happens. And, you know, worst case scenario, that's not a big rehab at the end no. of the day, given where we're getting it at. A little landscaping to clean it up. Yeah, but nothing major. Really good yeah. style of property, in my opinion. Yes, agreed. So, you know, here's the comp area. Um, again, we kind of looked on in between these two main arteries in this town. Um, from a high to low, you know, your houses are selling max to 170. And then you got some properties that are smaller, two beds under a thousand square feet that are in the fifties. Our property is uh, a little bit bigger than that. Two good comps to get us comfortable is this uh, three one thousand and change square foot. That's a uh, one forty five, and then this one thirty five a thousand square foot three bedroom as well. You can see these are pretty dated compared to ours. But again, I'm looking for like worst case scenario. If it sits on the market, what could it at least get? And yeah. these are two properties that 135 and 145 that are dated compared to uh, our property that we have. So we were pretty comfortable going back to the numbers here using a 129.9 is a kind of like a worst case scenario, yeah. knowing that you have a one third, I think it's 135, I must type that 135 and 145 sold uh, there. And, and it, this property did have a buyer's premium on it. So, you know, we, I, we were highest bid at 89K, but he added the uh, auction premium. And, you know, if we sell on the low end of these comps at 130 or 129.9, we, we walk away at 20K. Which is considered really doesn't need that much work and it should move yep. pretty quick. And the agent told us now, this is a slower time of year and the market slowed a bit. So originally, I think we were thinking 135 when it's listed, but she recommended yeah. 29.9 to get more foot traffic in. Yep. And there's a chance we get a bidding war. Who knows, we may get a bidding war with this property with it being priced below. With these two comps here that we just showed. Yeah, yeah, it's a clean one. And this is this is likely to be sold to an end buyer, but there's a chance even a uh, an investor might pick this up as a rental because it's turnkey, really, when you think about it, right? It's a turnkey rental yeah. and decent area that would be 
Very, very simple. So we got multiple um, exit strategies on this one. Worst case goes to investor. Our preference as usual would be to an owner occupant because they're willing to pay more than an investor will. So we will see where this ends up, but this may sell quick and reduce our, our holding costs and give us yield us a little more profit. So we'll see how it goes there. Variable, right? The five month hold that we have gets minimized yep. to be sold in one to two months. We're hoping, right? That's where we're gonna price it right. So it moves pretty quickly here. Hopefully it's not an FHA buyer. For those of you that don't know, I'll keep reminding you on this. We run in FHAs. We're running it into it on another property right now in Alabama where we had to move the settlement date from August 12th to August 30th to cover that 90 day anti-flipping um, thing. So this could fall into that too, but we're going to market it as conventional or cash. If an investor comes in there, 125 cash, no inspections, we'll sell it. <laughs> we'll move on all day long. So and we'll see yeah. how it goes there. But two, two really, really good deals not expensive right you're not getting into them these things are under hundred thousand dollar properties and you talk about if we make 20k on these you're talking about a 20 percent return on minimal right i mean 20 percent return on these properties which is very very good and quick turns yeah not quick. learn how we buy these properties and, and just have a pulse on the industry and the marketplace what's going on in real estate we kind of have a one to two calls a month uh virtual investor community the links in the description of the show notes uh here uh, feel free to click on that and sign up. Uh, you'll get be on a call just like this with me and Paul. We'll, we'll talk real estate market news, re deal review, your own reviews we could look at too over these calls. So uh, something to consider there as well. And I uh, mentioned earlier on the first property, we still have a lender for it yet. So if this is something uh, where you're an investor or think you want to be an investor and you don't have deal flow, but you have capital, it uh, might be an opportunity to be a bank on, on some of these and you know, be backed by a mortgage and note and uh, be a lender. Absolutely, which is a great way. One of our students is a lender, Steve Hildebittle, and he's done over 90 deals. He just emailed me today about that. He's now done over 90 deals in what, about a three year period here, maybe four year tops. I think it was about three years. So he's making very good income. That's his full time gig doing that. So if that's something you're thinking about, that is a possibility. And we can talk to you more about that. All right, everyone. Thank you again for joining us and we'll catch you in the next episode.